claustrophobic when you get stuck. I haven't heard anybody yet. So. Uh, this is only my second week as a tour guide. So I know it's bound to happen. I'm just not ready for it. What's the Wi Fi code? I'm having trouble getting the email here. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead. You guys can step onto this platform, look up for me, look down for me. Please hold on to your hard hats. And if you do take a picture, please hold on to your phone. We have already had several drop, and we are unable to retrieve them. Do not take a picture? Is it a little... You can. No, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what you were looking at. Um, so, while well, our last group's finishing up, also if you're wearing sunglasses, please take them off. This is just to make sure that you look at. This is what we call a drift. This is called a drift because unlike the tunnel that we are standing in, which runs in a relatively straight direction, a drift follows a silver vein whichever way it happens to go. So if it goes right, left, up, or down, the miners will follow it anyway. Now I heard somebody asked about the water on the ground. The water on the ground leads to an area that we call the winds. The winds is a connection to the levels below us. There are six levels total. Who wants to guess what level we are on? Level one? Three. Two. Three. <laughs> Whoa. You got three. it right. <laughs> this man right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're choking her up. So we are on level three right now. That area that you guys saw that was underwater, that is actually leading to level one and two. Each level is about 60 feet below us, so that to that area is under a hun 120 feet of water total. Wow. Now, when the miners were working here, it was not filled up. Dr. Poli actually invented pumps to keep the water pumping out. But when the mine was abandoned, Dr. Poli took his pumps with him, and that is why that area is filled up. Now I'll have everybody look up here. Hold my hat. What is up here? This is called a rise. A rise is also a connection between levels. This goes to our upper levels, and the miners would actually use this area to drop the ore that they were finding into an ore cart right about where you guys are standing. Once they found one ton of silver, or about 2,000 pounds worth of silver, they would have to get this cart out of here. Who wants to push 2,000 pounds out of here? Not me. Not me. Not me. I saw a volunteer back there. You really feeling it? <laughs> so, I don't know if anybody noticed, but we are actually going slightly uphill. And when we're leaving, we're going slightly downhill. That's because this tunnel was built on a 1% grade. This is because gravity is, after all, free. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, this... Hi. This uh, slope actually helps. <laughs> this under the freeway I-70. Up here okay. for my tall fellas and ladies. 
please watch out for this beam. We like to call him Jim Beam because one shot and he will knock you out. Silver over there. The rest of the tunnel this way has been caved in, so we cannot go further. So we're going to head back. I'm going to turn off the camera. There might be more to talk about, but this is good enough.